Well, looks like you got her stocked full. We packed her back down. What's that big orange box she got back there? Ah, uh, that's a trade-in I loaded up yesterday. Cool. Can't hardly beat that. Yeah. So you got the drill bits out. Yeah, I had the customers want to see a picture of one of our sets. And now, all of those are lifetime warranty, aren't they? They are. Don't matter if it's the 16th of an inch. If it's, it's in that box. It's hard to beat that. And then i show you another set that I just got in. Oh, it's got step bits with it. I've never we, I've never seen that set before. We we that just started doing it to where it puts the step bits in with the drill bits. That goes from a sixteenth up to a half inch. Mm -hmm. Those are pretty cool. Is that the ones that's in the flyer for sale? Or uh, is that set in there? I was thinking it was. It may be. It may have been last month. I remember. I've not gotten familiar with this new flyer. That back set, I think, is what was in it. And it was um, like you get up to something trade in or something. Yeah, hundred up to a hundred dollar trade in. So what was the price on that set? If you got the hundred dollar trade in, it would be. $2.99. That's about the average price on all the mm -hmm. tool truck bits. So what's the what's the price on the one with the step bits? In it? $3.99. Those are nice. I like the fact, I know you pay a lot more for it and you know, in the long run, it may never be worth it, but I like the fact that when I buy them, I never have to pay for another drill bit. That's it. Again, no matter what. As long as you so, don't lose it, yeah. you're always going to have drill bits. I don't know who that is. All right, sorry about the interruption there. We had a guy pull up and needed to talk to Mac Daddy about some tools. So, always business first. That's it. <laughs> well, have you got a bunch of stuff in ready for the the flyer specials that y'all got? I got part of it in. I'm still waiting on some more of it to show their show their face. But well, I know after we talked the other day about the impact deal, I got in there and you know we did the video on the flyer and there it is. Mm -hmm. It's in this flyer. So yeah, which one was that? It, uh... it was the half inch and the three eighths impact combo deal. That's it with the light. And Yep, bit driver. And That's kind of got all three of your basics there: your bit driver, your three H, your high. Now is that that's the mid torque in that one, wasn't it? Uh, the BWP one fifty two. No, that's the that's the big one. What's the foot pounds on it? Uh, twelve hundred breakaway. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So, regular price on that kit's like fourteen hundred and ten dollars. So. And they got on sale for nine ninety nine. Yeah. And then the kit that you got here, it's pretty much pretty close to the same price, but yeah, that kit seven. You might as well say seven fifty, I think. And you get the gun, one battery, charger, and then the max socket. So is that the high torque yes. impact in that one too? It is. So, man. Well, that makes uh, the decision a lot easier on which one to purchase, for sure. So, it, uh, you know, you're getting three tools versus one tool for $200 more, but you don't get the sockets with it. So, yeah, which, or the case. Right. Which, I mean, I don't have to have the sockets. I just think that's a neat case to to have in the truck, you know. I yep. mean, that's pretty nice to have the sockets there with it. So, well, that's gonna make my decision on them a whole lot easier. I'm, I still ain't made my mind up a hundred percent. I just hate to have another freaking battery charger in the mix because yeah. on my service truck, you know, like I'd have to buy two, two chargers and all that. Which I mean, I've got a DeWalt charger. It probably that would work. Probably work too. So.
that's one of the good things. And to another thing, like if you're ever out working somewhere, like, you know, I'm bad about going out of town. You know, mm -hmm. we, we went to the coast and everywhere else working, I guess. Fellow has a bad battery or something happened to a battery, he can always go to a Lowe's or Home Depot or Menards or somewhere mm -hmm. that sells DeWalt and pick up a battery. Find your battery or find your charger. Or... He ain't stuck that way, so. That is definitely a plus side to him. For sure. Well, what else new you got? You put anything else on here? Uh, still waiting on a good bit of stuff to come in, but we uh, reloaded and restocked a bunch this week. Whoop, whoop, don't fall. New roll stool I got there on the floor. <laughs> um, got in some magnetic extensions behind you back there too. That's always a handy little set. Got mm -hmm. some more of them in. Yeah, those are nice. Still waiting on a good bit to show its face. Just takes a little longer than what it used to, I guess. Yeah, I guess all the junk that's been going on has made it a little harder on everybody. It has. It really has. So y'all had a good hunt, huh? We did. We did. We had a good time. Ain't gonna be no federal awards out for y'all, No, are they? no. We <laughs> stayed away from Mr. Green Jeans. There'll be some posters up and some... In the tundra up there, watch out for these guys next year. Hey, uh, that's what that guy was looking for when he come by right there, I believe. Oh, the wobble sockets. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that's what he was wanting, but he wasn't sure. Do you have that happen a lot? People just pull up like that? Mm -hmm. It's more people that, you know, uh, a lot of you're, you're older people that used to be, you know, tool buying customers that, mm -hmm. you know, they don't see a truck every day, any, every week anymore. And they say, hey, do you by chance have this? I got this broke or yeah. I lost one of these. I want to fix my set. And mm -hmm. It's more of that than anything that just pop up on you. Yeah. That's cool. They, uh, you know, they do that, mm -hmm. you know, that you guys actually take the time and hook them up because like you're actually gonna have to wait on this guy. He said, I'll be back in what, 10 or 15 minutes yeah, yeah. or so. so. Well, we'll hang out for a little bit and see if he makes it back. So try to take care of everybody we can. That's true. Well, how have y'all done with the, with the red backs? Well, when we can get them, they do pretty good. Mm -hmm. I know I've had a set probably for about two years and my soul still shows zero wire. Mm -hmm. I don't know what they, what kind of material they use on the soles of those shoes. But man, every pair I've ever had, I've wore out, you know, in a year or so. And right. You get your money with a red back, for sure. And they're light. Yeah, they are. And something with the leather, with all the oil and water and antifreeze and everything that they're in, they don't sour. Yeah. I don't know what it, I don't, you know, I don't know if it's something they treat their leather with or what, but. I like the fact too, you can just kick them off and then we get ready to put them on you slip your foot in them. I mean, it's super easy. You know, I, I kick my boots off every time at the back door so I don't, you know, get anything on through her house. And, man, it sure makes, it's you a lot better than, than standing right there untying them, you know, yep. and all that. I guess that's the lazy part of me, but it is. And they're very comfortable. You know, like, honestly, I just seem to wear these every day as I had tennis shoes, you know. Mm -hmm. they're, they're extremely comfortable shoes, or boots, I should say. Yeah. They, they make a the good, sizing's kind of weird though. They're an Australian-based company, so they go off the Australian size. So mm -hmm. if you want, if you if you wear a US ten, you buy their size and a nine. That's Whatever what confuses everybody when they look at them. Oh, that's not my size. Well, did you look at the big number, or the little number? <laughs> so yeah, I'll show you guys what he's talking about. It's a US ten, but it's a Australian nine. The price of the Milwaukee, I mean the Mac kit that's there, mm -hmm. what is the, what would it cost to get that in a DeWalt? Two batteries, a charger, and the three eighths and a half. Because mm -hmm. if it ain't much money difference, you know, it might be just as good to go with the DeWalt. Because everybody that I've talked to has had good luck with the DeWalt stuff, you know. 
the main thing you have to watch when you do that is the chemicals you you work around or wipe your tools down or because I had one guy he said man I don't know what happened he said I wiped my DeWalt battery down with a rag I sprayed down brake cleaner now it's a completely different color yeah you know yeah. so they aren't chemically they aren't the same by no means which I don't you know obviously you'll get brake cleaner on tools at some point while you're working with them but I never clean my tools with anything other than tub of tiles those do good yep I sell the Mac tiles, but I've also bought some of the tub of tiles that, I don't know, it was Lowe's or Home Depot one weekend when I needed some. That's another reason why I like them, because you can buy them anywhere. You know, you can buy them at Walmart. Harbor Freight even sells them, you know. All the auto parts stores carry them. And that's kind of where I got into the tub of tile world is I was at Napa one day and um, picked up a you know, a box there just to try and mm -hmm. man, I fell in love with them because I'd use those gunk wipes and the big mules and pretty much any other brand and those tub of tiles, they just, they work. You could get the two piece DeWalt half gun, three eighths gun, two four and five batteries, a light and a charger for 639. So pretty much 300 bucks cheaper. Yeah, but also too, that's not a bit driver with it. Yeah. Well, I know I've had DeWalt drills in the past, and they have been the best, the longest lasting drills I've ever had out of every brand of drill I've ever had. You know, I've still got an old 18 volt DeWalt, you know, that the the battery pack actually slides up in there. Mm -hmm. It's got the big base on it. You just, you can't kill them son of a guns. They're tough, you know. If you can find a good battery. Mm -hmm. But one thing they make now too is you can buy the adapter to go in the old tool and then slide the new batteries on so you can run all your tw new 20 volt style batteries on your old 18 volt tools. Oh, cool. That would be the way to go right there. And you still have, because I mean, that's like, at home I still have all the, the old stuff like that. I mean, I got skill saw, 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 drill, yeah. two or three drills, bit drivers, all of it. Mm -hmm. It seems like that's what companies do is like, by the time you get into a battery platform and by the time you acquire all the stuff that you need. Let's do something different. Yeah, let's change it up. Like, oh, we got a better battery design. And then all the other stuff's kind of obsolete. And you talk about piss a fella off. Mm -hmm. Now that, that right there is way to do it. But I mean, I yeah. understand technology changes and all that stuff, so. But what, is it the same breakaway torque on that gun? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Well, that gives me something to think about. For sure. All right, guys, like always, thank you all for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise. Cool tools and discount codes is in the description. And like always, if you're not subscribed, take your finger and press that button. All you got to do is click it. You guys have a great week, and we will catch you all next time. See ya.